We needed a wing. We got the wing. OG <laughs> Ananobi makes his garden debut, man. I mean, there's, there's so much, so much that we got to talk about here. Obviously, on the backs, on the heels of this trade, he comes right in. He's smothering Anthony Edwards. He gets matched up on Carl Anthony Towns. Switchable, versatile, tough, and pretty damn big, right? I mean, you know, we've been looking at an undersized Nick team for 30-plus games. Things change when OG Ananobi gets put in that starting unit. Knocking down corner threes from each side, being a bailout for Jalen Brunson. Everything as advertised for OG Ananobi. And, you know, Minnesota comes out to an 11-point lead to finish the first quarter when Ant-Man starts to erupt. And that was when mostly when OG Ananobi went to the bench. And then once he gets back in, the second unit with, with Brunson and Ananobi started turning up. You had a nice defensive three with Ananobi, with Hart, and with Grimes. You had, uh, you had Brunson, you had Hartenstein, and that unit got off to the races. Yo, OG was phenomenal today, man. But this is what we discussed yesterday on the show, right? The guy yeah. who can guard one through five. You saw how he's even guarding Carl Anthony Towns out there, man, and giving yeah. him work. Like I said on the show yesterday, he gives you like that Drew Holiday presence, right? The guy who can guard multiple positions, be a pest. Doesn't matter what position he's guarding, he is there. But the thing that diff that's different from what we had with RJ, man, is the timely shot making from the perimeter and the efficiency on low volume. The offense was clicking, man. Yeah. Absolutely clicking, especially with Dante DiVincenzo out there. You have a passing big like iHeart. I think the one thing I have to take away from the CP is the off-ball movement that OG and Anobi cutting. Is great cutting. Great cutter. Legitimately just slicing and dicing the entire Timberwolves defense. Like, that's what we were missing from RJ, man, is a guy who could knock down shots and cut and just find the weaknesses in an opponent's defense just to yeah. get easy baskets. How many times did we see a dunk today by OG and Anobi, yeah. whether it was out in transition or cutting back door, yeah, man? Yeah. That's what we need. And OG gives you just that. And so the fact that he went, CP, he went 7-12 to 12 today and got you 17 points, that's the type of efficiency that you need to put the Knicks forward. Not somebody who's going to take 20 shots and push you, pull you back. 12 attempts moving you forward plus the versatile defense og had a great great performance for his debut as a new york nick Out, outstanding performance man and again just one game but you, you saw the impact right away right away uh from the attention that he had to give anthony edwards you know minnesota had to throw both their big man double screens at him to free up anthony edwards as soon as og goes to the bench you have Hart out there who you know didn't have to do such a great job against edwards you know, edwards a very explosive player it's ant-man he, he's a great player uh but once he got back in the game in that second quarter man things really changed talk about, about doing doing a deal not only with a team that's in that you're in litigation with but yeah. also in your division. In your division. How about that? Anything is possible. In the words of the great Kevin Garnett. So when we want Mikhail Bridges, CP, we should keep that door hey, open. Hey, keep it open. You got you had two division rivals in the midst of, of a mudslinging lawsuit. Getting a deal done. Anything's possible, man. But how about this? How about this laugh, Al? I threw out there on Twitter this morning, right? So uh, in OG Ananobi's introductory press conference, and when, when he met with the media, our guys Fred Katz and Ian Begley were, were throwing out uh, the sound bites in tweet in tweets. So one of the, one of them one of the the tweets from from Fred Katz was that he says Ananobi said the coaching staff sent him some plays early. He came in early today to walk through plays on the court and learn the Knicks' offensive and defensive terminology. And I retweet. I said. He already had the playbook. <laughs> so it's no wonder OG Ananobi cooked today. He already had the playbook for months. Simple. Wow. Simple. He's ready, man. There you he go. He was just, uh, you know, he was just studying it. He's like, oh, we, we play the Knicks. This is what we, okay, I get it. So if yeah. I ever go there because, yeah. you know, he said, oh, you know, New York would be a cool destination. Why not? <laughs> he probably gave the Knicks coaching staff some tips in today's session. Like, what? Actually, from from my Wait vantage point. Wait until the 20th, CP. Yeah. Wait until the 20th. <laughs> Shout out to OG, man. Shout out to OG. He already had the playbook, man. There's nothing nothing to worry about, you know? And in more simplistic terms, hey, play some defense, stand in the corner. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> That's it. That's your playbook. <laughs> uh, hey, OG, I, I, I just want you to know. I, I asked this from RJ, but he couldn't do it. <laughs> he, couldn't, he couldn't get the job done. Stand in the corner. Shoot the threes and defend. 
giveaway coming up soon. Harrison, how you doing? Good guys. Happy New Year. How you doing today? Good man. Good. Um, yeah, I just got a couple takes. I'll keep it rapid fire, but um, OG changes everything, man. Mm -hmm. I've loved the trade in the moment. You know, IQ is an amazing player, but this is about team fit. And I think the front office did a good job because not only do you bring in a wing who's a great player, but also you clear up the log jam at the shooting guard position. So now, even though you don't keep quickly, players like Dante and uh, Grimes, they can really get it going a little bit more. Yeah. And we also got that back up big. So I thought that was great. And uh, only other thing I want to say, man, uh, people talk a lot about how IQ or Mitch has grown under Tibbs. Mm -hmm. But how about Randall? Randall Chris. is a completely different player. I mean, he's harrying us in crunch time. And even today, he you know he got stripped and turned it over here and there. Yep. But he doesn't really let it affect his mental game anymore. Yeah. And his composure, his composure has just been greatly improved and i do have i have faith in him going into the postseason you know he's got to prove himself but i think he's capable of doing that yeah good good points man good points by harrison dolan <laughs>